This is the Radio Shack USB analog controller. The part number is 2603666. Um, I couldn't find a manual for this thing, and one of these triggers were stuck in macro mode, and so I figured out how to disable macro mode and set turbo and etc. If you look here, <clears throat> um, you can see the when I click the button, you can see there's um, a bunch of buttons being triggered. And that's the macro. And you can see the blue light here is also going. Well, to disable the macro, you just click the macro button, then the trigger you want to disable, and then the macro button again. And now the trigger's back to normal. This program is um, JS Test, I think. JS Test GTK. It's on Ubuntu. Anyway, um, another thing you can do, if you want to get your macro back, you click the macro button, the trigger you want to use for the macro, and then you record your macro. Say that's some cheat code or something. And then click the macro once you're done. Now when you click the trigger, your crazy macro is fired. And you can clear it out by doing macro, trigger, macro. Now it's back to normal. And one more thing you can do is uh, enable turbo mode. And that's pretty easy. You just hold down the turbo button and then click the button you want for turbo. Now when you hold that button you just programmed in for turbo, you can see it's clicking wildly even though I'm just holding the button. One last thing I want to show you is the mode. If you look at the the analog thing right here, it's not doing analog, it's doing kind of digital where it's either on or off on each axis. If you click the mode button, it switches to analog mode where you got that smooth action. So this is like Mario 64, you'd want this. This is old school Mario, you'd want that, or you can just use these. The directional pad. That's it. Hope that helped. Have a great day.